smell good. I got, well, I got like shrimp. Okay. <laughs> it smells really good. and get it washed up and dried and then we're going to um, put it on the mandolin. So now that we've got these sautéing, we're going to get some garlic in, then we're going to sauté our, our zucchini and yellow squash, season with salt and pepper. This, uh, like mushrooms, not as much liquid, but it's going to give off some liquid. So we do want to strain it in a colander before we go and assemble the timbales. take this off the edge because <laughs> you're going to end up with dough <laughs> off down the side and on the stove top. Do you have so to go kind of quickly? You have to go quickly, okay. yes. So we'll take this off so it doesn't heat up too much. And, so it's awesome. Yep, this is like, you know, waiting for the water to boil. Watch the pot never boils. It does eventually. Yes. <laughs> Keep watching. So you said you could do that with a colander. You can you do, do it with a colander. It's a messy job. <laughs> you would just set it over. You almost kind of have to hold it over. And then you have to use something like this. You put the dough in and you just kind of cook it. And it, it's, it's messy. My uh, nephew and my niece took this class summers ago and he didn't go home when they're in California he did not go home with a special maker and he did it on with a colander and his his mom my sister called me the next day and asked that I send a special maker. <laughs> 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 have these pre-made, have them in the fridge, mm -hmm. put them in a plastic bag. They won't all fuse together. If we're going to chill them down, yeah. then we're going to put a little oil on them. Okay. Everybody can watch. Just going to try and load it in there. And then we're just going very quickly. Somebody hold that handle, pot handle. Going very quickly. Wow. 
See how they drop down to the bottom? Now they're popping back up again. So once they're all up, yeah, they're like little squigglies. They come out. And then the ice bath. I think I had my top upside down. Still works. Better. Once they pop up, I'll let them cook for about 30 seconds, and you're going to pull them out. 